Hey guys, so welcome to my channel. My name is Nicole and if you are new here, I do videos on faith, organizing, and lifestyle. So I decided to do a video on how to pray in the spirit. Recently, I was listening to two Christians debate upon speaking in tongues. So one stated that Christians do not have to speak in tongues, you know, just pray in the spirit, while the other stated that Christians should be baptized by the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in tongues, and that was praying in the spirit. So while I am not here to debate, um, I will share my thoughts according to my personal story and God's word. So when I first gave my life to Jesus, I was pretty much in between the world and church. I mean, half foot in, half foot out. In college, we had something called Thirsty Thursdays. And if you ever participated in one of those, you know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> and then we had club on Saturday and church Sunday morning. And it was like a routine. It was like Thirsty Thursdays, you know, I don't want to say what the actual thing was. It was like Civic Center on or club on Saturday. And then church Sunday morning bright and early. I don't recommend that, but that that was just my lifestyle, right? So it was not until about 21 that God really began to convict my heart to change my lifestyle and to instead draw closer to him. I decided to fully surrender and to truly give my heart to Jesus. So I started to get a little bit more into his word in church and really began to obey him. As I was doing this, I was taught by my pastor at the time about getting baptized by the Holy Spirit. And you see this in Acts uh, where the Holy Spirit came upon the believers. Uh, it was early in the morning and it was just like, they started speaking in tongues. It was just such a, a beautiful experience. So while I was really amazed by this and I saw the transformation that the disciples were getting or having, they were being baptized by the Holy Spirit. They began to speak in a new language. And if you really study it closely, they began to walk in boldness. Like they just became totally different people. So I wanted this too. I mean, I began to believe God for it. And, you know, God had used that same pastor to um, help me to begin to speak in tongues. And I believe that from that day forward, I do believe that my life has changed. I mean, why I believe that there were other disciplines that helped contribute to my overall transformation outside of speaking in tongues, I strongly believe that being baptized by the Holy Spirit truly opened up my eyes to see more of the things of God more clearly. So I began to see God's word in a different way. I went from criticizing and trying to change the, the word of God to match my lifestyle to actually desire and live out the word of God. So while I'm nowhere near perfect, um, I do believe in that those moments that I do rely on the Holy Spirit's help, I can definitely see the evidence of Christ working in my life. When you look at uh, Peter, who denied Jesus three times prior to Jesus dying, and then you see that same Peter after the baptism of the Holy Spirit become an entire different person. I mean, he became powerful for the things of God. You know, his shadow began to heal people. That's how powerful he was. And he walked in a certain boldness and assurance um, that he gained once he was filled with the Holy Spirit. So, and you know, I speak for myself as well. At one point I was very embarrassed and I was timid to be a Christian. I mean, afraid of what people would think of me. And it wasn't until the power of the Holy Spirit came upon me that I changed and I went from being afraid to amazed at the incredible power that the gospel had that this world just could not give me. God's word became so clear and evident in my life. So I just at one point no longer lived for the approval of man and that's what the Holy Spirit will do to you and for you and as you're studying and reading his word. After believing with your heart and confessing that Jesus is Lord, you now become a child of God and you have salvation in him. And it is your kingdom right 
to be empowered by this Holy Spirit. In Acts 19.2 says, did you receive the Holy Spirit when you believed, he asked. No, they replied, we haven't even heard that there is a Holy Spirit. Verse three says, then what baptism do you experience? He asked, and they replied, the baptism of John? And verse four says, Paul said, John's baptism called for repentance from sin. But John himself told people to believe in the one who would come later, meaning Jesus. And verse five, as soon as they heard this, they were baptized in the name of Jesus. And verse six says, then when Paul laid his hands on them, the Holy Spirit came on them and they spoke in tongues and prophesied. And then in Acts 13, 52, it talks about, and the disciples were filled with joy and with the Holy Spirit. So it is it possible that the Holy Spirit can come upon believers and that they can speak in new tongues if they choose to believe. So that means that all you have to do is believe and the Holy Spirit can come and fill you. Jude one twenty says, but you, dear friends, by building yourselves up in the most holy faith and praying in the Holy Spirit. This means that this is a daily thing that we must practice as believers to be built in him, to be most effective here on earth. We have to be built in this Holy Spirit. Let's pray. Okay, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, God, I thank you for this day, God. I thank you for waking myself up, waking my um, the people that are watching this video up, God. Thank you, Father, for giving us another day to see on this earth, Lord. Your word says that we lie down and we rise again because you and only you have sustained us, oh God. So Father, we thank you for all that you are and all that you have created each and every one of us to be, Lord God. I thank you, Father, for your word, Lord God, that, that's light and that brings life and life more abundantly, Lord God. I thank you for all that you have created on this earth, Lord Jesus. God, and we repent, we repent of any things that may be in us, God, that is not aligned with you, Lord Jesus. We thank you for your forgiveness, Lord God. And Father, I ask, Lord, that whoever may be watching this, God, your word says if we just believe as, as small as a mustard seed, Lord God, that we can have what we're asking for according to your will. So God, I ask right now, God, that if there's anyone that is watching this, Lord, that doesn't understand quite what the Holy Spirit is, Lord, I pray that you would give them clarity and understanding, Lord God, that you would open up their eyes to see and their ears to be able to hear, Lord Jesus. And God, I pray over my brothers and sisters, Lord God, that you, Father, will begin to fill them with the Holy Spirit, that they would have the evidence of speaking in tongues, Lord Jesus. Father, I thank you because you have given us the power on the earth to tread upon scorpions, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God, Father, for the power of the Holy Spirit. God, fill them up right now, wherever that they are, Lord Jesus. God, I thank you. I thank you for the power of the Holy Spirit. God, I give you all the praise and all the honor. I thank you, Father, for this, Lord Jesus. I bless you and I honor you. In Jesus' mighty name, I do pray. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I pray that you guys would get a deeper understanding of what this Holy Spirit is and that he would come and fill you up so that you can do and become everything that he's created you to be on this earth. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.